Hi folks, Alan from MindVisionMedia.net again. This tutorial will basically show you how to edit the home page widgets on the responsive WordPress theme, which I am using for this particular site. And uh, let's get right into it. What you want to do is basically go into your dashboard, find Appearance, Widgets, which will bring you to your widget area, where you have options to drag in any of the standard uh, default widgets into any of the sidebar widgets. In this case I chose to use my Black Studio Tiny MCE plugin widget which I recommend downloading. gives you a lot more um, flexibility than the normal text, arbitrary text or HTML widget. As you can see it gives you arbitrary text or HTML with a visual editor which gives you a lot more options. So let's look here. If you look on the side, what you will find is Home Widget 1, Home Widget 2, and Home Widget 3. So let's do Home Widget 1. I dragged my Black Studio Tiny MCE widget into Home Widget 1, opened it up, and here's the content that we saw inside there. So what I did I clicked where I wanted my icon to go, chose Add Media, selected the icon from my media library, which I uploaded, selected the icon, chose this symbol here, which is Edit, and I aligned it left, which will allow the text to wrap around it. Okay, And I clicked Update, which I won't do in this case because my content is already there. Um, and then I also typed in the text that I wanted to show up there. Now keep in mind, the more text you add inside the the uh, Tiny MCE Black Studio Tiny MCE widget will expand that widget. Um, so I kept it short to try to keep the height of the widget a bit short. I didn't want it to extend it farther than I needed to, but you can add whatever content you want in here. But just keep in mind, it will resize the widget to accommodate the content. I clicked save. Um, first of all, I added some hyperlinks here. I added one to the image and I also added a text hyperlink by selecting the text. And what you do is you select wh whatever you're going to add a hyperlink to, either the image or the text, and you click this button right here. And what that will bring up is a window that allows you to put in a URL hyperlink or you can select content or pages or posts from within your site as well. I clicked update, which I won't do because my content's already there. And I clicked save. Close that. And now the content we just saw inside that home widget one using the Black Studio Tiny MCE widget is the same content that we have in my home widget one web design. And as you can see, the image is a hyperlink and the text is also a hyperlink. So if I click on that, it will take me to the web design page, which is what I have selected for it. Um, you can do the same for the text, like I said. Adding a hyperlink is very easy. It takes me right to the same page. So let's take a look at uh, Home Widget 2. In the home widget 2, I have web hosting. Let's go and see that content. I went through the same procedures. I'll close that. Open up home widget 2. I dragged in my Black Studio Tiny MCE plugin widget into home widget 2, which I don't need to do. I'm just showing you the steps. Opened up the widget. Once again, I selected where I wanted my icon to go chose it out of my media library by selecting the add media button clicked on the icon chose edit aligned it left so the text will wrap updated and then I typed in the text that I wanted to show up and this is regarding hosting and I created two hyperlinks by selecting this text here choosing this icon here which is inside the black studio tiny MCE widget which allowed me to add a hyperlink and once again you can select content from within your site or 
um, put in a URL. Okay, and I did the same to the image. I saved it, closed that, and now that content that I previously added is what you see corresponding in Home Widget 2, and so on and so forth. And I've added hyperlinks in all three of my home widgets, both text and image, that allow the user to choose either option. And of course, same in home widget 3. Dragged my Black Studio Tiny MCE widget into home widget 3, added my content, placed my text where I wanted my image to go, chose Add Media chose edit image, aligned it left so the text would wrap around it, and I also created, once again, hyperlinks for the image and for this text right here by selecting this icon here, which is not available in the regular standard um, arbitrary text or HTML default widget that comes with the responsive theme. Um, so Tiny MCE, Black Studio's Tiny MCE widget it gives you a visual editor, editor which gives you a lot more options. Of course, always remember to click Save. And we go back and that content is what we just saw in my home widget 3. And once again, I got hyperlinks on everything. So if I click on any of these domain name, it will take me to my domain name page, which is what I chose. And another little trick, um, while you're editing inside your theme, um, you don't want to have to keep leaving the page and coming back to the page, especially if you have a lot of pages, because I have quite a few pages, so I don't want to keep going through the same tedious process of going to pages, choosing the page I was working on, and starting all over again. That page remains open. I'm working on widgets. This tab here has my widgets. And a way to quickly review your changes is to hover your mouse over your dashboard where it has your site name, hold down the control key, left click, and it will open up a duplicate tab with your site in it that you can now just quickly reference to see your changes. Um, so if I edited this content inside of my dashboard and then I wanted to see my changes instead of clicking the view page or any of the other other options or going to the site within this tab I can just click up there really quick refresh the page and see my changes so I hope this helped any questions contact me at mindvisionmedia.net alright take care